Saturday, October 14, 2023, an annular solar eclipse crossed North, Central, and South America. The viewing of the solar eclipse in the northern part of Belize. So Alton High is one of the sites uh, among four others where we have uh, some people at Lamanay, Santa Rita, Cerros, uh, this being the closest to the center of the city. Um, we are aware that the view of the eclipse is more visible in the northern part of the country, so this is the better sites, and we're expecting a huge crowd today. Witnessing an eclipse from anywhere is spectacular, but to witness them from Mayan ruins in Belize is truly amazing. And whenever I, uh, eclipse happen like this, it's because one of the stars turned into a demon, mostly believed to be a snake, and they eat the sun and the moon. So that is why it gets dark, okay? During an eclipse, are there any special ceremonies or sacrifices yes. or anything? This time right here, we believe that the Mayans, they would go off because they believe that the gods are displeased with them. And so they would do a lot of um, bloodletting rituals. They sometimes even believe that the, the female will be cutting themselves. They will even lash the kids so they could scream and cry it out. So there's a lot of things here. This is one of the times that the Mayans believe that the gods is very mad with them. As the morning progressed, the moon continued its path in front of the sun until finally, totality. What are you feeling right now? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm buzzing, honestly. I think we both feel a bit emotional. It was pretty incredible to get to be present for such a rare event. Uh, yeah, I'm really grateful that of all places we ended up at the Temple of the Sun God <laughs> on the solar eclipse. I had my crazy, craziest feeling in my life because when I was here meditation at the exact moment, I feel like we met together in another life and also with all each people here. It's like, it's crazy, it's like if we were here like a lot of years ago and now we meet here again to appreciate the same moment with the land and the building that we built with yeah. our hands. It was so crazy but I feel this one inside of me. What was your reaction, especially being in a place like this? Well, I think it was really magical for me. I've, I've, I think the last time when it happened, we couldn't really see it. So, um, you know, it's it's really awesome looking at something that, you know, rarely occurs or right. people really don't see it, and especially in a space like this. Right. Um, it's, it's really good for me and sharing it with my, my daughter, who's nine, and who she'll remember it as well. Nice. What did you think of it, dear? It's amazing. Yeah, what, what was the best part? <laughs> the one where it turns into the ring. The ring, wow. Yeah. Why did you come here to Altunha? I think for me, um, I'm a Maya. Are you? Yeah, so I, I, I don't get to, we don't get to visit these spaces as much. Um, and when I saw that they were going to have something, I felt it was a good opportunity to, you know, to do it, to have the space. Because sometimes when you do it from home, you might not have that. So it was really good and I just wanted to make sure that we had enough wide view to be able to see. For the San Pedro Sun, I'm Ron Sniffin reporting.